Today, we're at Lumi headquarters in LA to try their product Ingo Dye. It's a sun sensitive dye that can develop photos, drawings, and other art on natural fiber fabrics. First, we put pieces of foam board inside our t shirts to keep the dye from seeping through. Then, we planned out our designs using photo negatives, patterns, and some hand drawings on transparency sheets. You can also use tape, stickers, or any other opaque objects to create patterns. After that, we moved into a darker area to apply the dye. Be sure to smooth out all wrinkles and blot off excess dye with paper towels. Then apply your design. It's important to keep it in solid contact with the fabric and not let it move. We use tiny sewing pins to hold it down against the surface. Then, when you're ready, take it out into the sunlight. You're going to want to leave the designs in the sun for 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how bright it is that day. Be sure to keep an eye on your design so that it isn't moving and stays pinned in place. When the dye is fully developed, take everything back inside. Unpin everything and peel your negatives off. Then, you'll want to immediately throw it in the washing machine on hot. We ran ours two cycles just to be safe before drying them. We loved our shirts and decided to experiment with some shoes. We used white slip-ons and tried several methods including taping off sections, wrapping and pinning transparencies, and even covering the shoes with dye, then wrapping them in cling wrap and drawing on top. Just like the tees, we took them outside and watched them develop for 20 minutes. We washed them in the machine twice as well, but left them out to dry. Thanks to Lumi for having us. You guys can get your own Inko dye to try this at home at lumi.co. And see more Vans DIY videos at vansgirls.tumblr.com.